The new year is upon us and it is time to get your shit together in whatever way you need to. So I'm going to help you guys do that today with my second installment of Slayer 2020 series. And today I'm going to give you guys three simple steps to changing your entire life. And this is really getting back to basics, but it's super important stuff no matter who you are. So if that sounds good to you, then keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen. I am a mindset and manifestation coach and I'm so excited to have you here on my YouTube channel. This channel is where I release two new videos every week all about the art of creating your best life ever through mindset and manifestation. The two halves, the same equation that I believe you need both of in order to create a best, your best life. So if that sounds like something that's of interest to you, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button. So we're back, as I said at the top of the video, back with my second installment in the Slate Your 2020 series. I'm so excited to bring these videos to you guys and today I am going to share with you guys my system for changing your life no matter what it is you want to change no matter what the thing is that's on your mind you need to apply the same process so this is the beginning of the year there's all kinds of new stuff that is about to come our way in this new decade and i really want you guys to get excited about that because i think it is too easy for us to fall back on our laurels to get caught up in the everyday routine of our normal everyday existence and to forget to think about the big picture but honestly every day is an opportunity for a fresh start and it really becomes magnified at a change of the year so at new year's or at the beginning of a school year or especially at this one at the beginning of a new decade so think about it where do you guys want to be in 10 years where do you guys want to be in five years and isn't it fun to think expansively and to dream big about what potential things could be coming your way because i just want to remind you that you can create anything you want in this life as long as you decide on what that is deciding is one of the key components to be a conscious creator and that's actually my first tip for you guys you need to decide on what it is you are going after so I know that many of us are stuck in either one or two camps we are either the type a camp work hard um, put your head down and go for it or we're in the type B camp which is a little bit more dreamery um, and where we like to think about things but maybe we don't even bother to get to the second step of committing. Well, for both of these camps, I want you guys to come back, regroup, and to really think about the big picture. For you type A people, I know you probably have a lot of things that you are thinking about already, but I would invite you to come back to your lists and to think about it and just to reevaluate if these are the things that you really want in life. And it is a really good idea to think of your goals in kind of three levels. So think of some daily habits and routines that maybe you want to implement. So that would be like immediate stuff that you can start working on every single day. Think about stuff that you want to implement within like the next three months, goals you want to hit, money goals, something like that. And then think about your longer term goals, like your year away long goals. So something that is way bigger um, that you cannot achieve overnight, that you will need to put a bunch of work in to achieving so it's really important for you guys to think about your life in every single level like this and especially this goes for you dreamers dreamers i know sometimes you don't want to commit to the something you don't want to go all in on something but honestly dreaming is part of a conscious creation but only when you decide on committing to something right you need to commit to it in order to make that happen because otherwise you're sitting around kind of just fantasizing and thinking well st starting my own business sounds great or traveling um to mexico sounds great or doing this sounds great and doing that sounds great and again i mentioned this already in this video but you only have so much time right? You only have so much time and so much energy in this lifetime, in a certain day, in a certain week. And you get to decide on what you are paying, literally paying your time and energy to, right? Okay. It's like you have money in a wallet, but that is your time and energy. And that is what you get to spend in any certain amount of time. It's a finite amount. You can't go over it. We don't get 27 hours in a day. So you need to be decisive because if you aren't committing to the things that you want, 
you are going to be ending up spending your time and energy on other things. And that means that you are taking away from the things that you really want. So really it's up to you to commit, to dream big and more importantly to, to commit to the things that you want in life. So take some time for yourself. I might do another video on how to do this specifically, but you can do this right now. Just grab a piece of paper and start thinking of the things that you want to bring into your life, things you want to incorporate, goals you want to set for yourself. Um, think about every uh, area of your life. Think about like, you know, your relationships, your, your money situation, your career, all of the things and get a really juicy list going. You don't have to have big crazy goals in all of the areas, but it starts by evaluating and then choosing what you really want to work on. So that is the very first step for you guys. Step number two in how to change your life in three easy steps is to start planning. Okay, so now we've got this list of things that you have committed to achieving over the next period of time. And like I said, there are probably some short term things, some medium term things and some longer term things. So the problem is really with the longer term things and with the medium term things. When we think of these big crazy things, of course, they don't just happen. So pretend that one of your goals for yourself is to start a side hustle. So you have that written down there on your list of achieve or things you want to achieve. I want to open my own online business by this time next year. So what does that mean? You need to get more clear about that. You need to do, you know, a whole bunch of work. I mean, starting a business is obviously a lot of work but you need to start breaking this big monumental task down into smaller steps because if you cannot break it down into smaller steps i guarantee that it's going to stay there as one big scary dream and you are never going to actually um, get around to achieving it right because if it is just a big thing like earn a thousand dollars an extra thousand dollars this month or whatever and you don't figure out how to plan it if you don't break it down if you don't um, make it more manageable for yourself like it will remain out there somewhere as an idea in your brain and it'll never come into your reality as something that you are working on so the key with everything is again you can achieve anything you want right but again like I said before you need to manage your time you need to manage your energy and you need to manage your mindset and that I think is really the most important thing um, when we leave things as big, huge goals, we let them have this layer of fear around them and this like sense of like, I don't know where to begin. I have no idea how to start this. I don't know what's going on. And you get stuck in the, I don't knows, right? And we've all been stuck in the, I don't knows, right? And that it's not a good place to be. The thing is you can challenge yourself to figure out anything you want to, you can figure out what the first step is, and that's all you ever have to do. What is the first step? What can you do right now? And you might not be able to plan out the whole roadmap for yourself to get where you want to go. But if you can plan one step, the next step, the next step, that's really all you need, right? So you need to think about what the first step is. You need to break everything down and make it manageable. So maybe your goal is losing 15 pounds. So what do you think you need to do to lose 15 pounds? Like, is it changing your diet? Is it shopping at a new store? Um, is it hiring a nutritionist? Is it hiring a trainer? Like think about the things you need to do and put the action steps you need in to start doing that right now. Otherwise losing 15 pounds is just going to stay there on your list and you're never going to get around to it. So that's the second step is to plan. So my third step for you guys in three easy steps to change your entire life is to execute. Okay execute it means putting your plans into action it means actually showing up and doing the work for yourself so that might not sound as exciting as writing out a to-do list that might not sound as exciting as you know um, plotting something out on a calendar but sooner or later if you are serious about making your dreams happen and i know if you are watching this video that you are then you're going to have to start executing on what you have put down on your piece of paper so let's go back and look at your list and look at the things that are on there. So like I suggested in the first tip, you should probably think of, you know, immediate things that you can start implementing into your life. So like daily habits, routines, maybe that you want to incorporate. Um, then you have like your medium goals and then you have your long term goals. And so you need to make time, um, maybe not every single day, but almost every single day to achieve all of these things, right? 
Once again, if you don't plan things, they don't happen. But also, if you don't incorporate time to make these things happen, they're also not going to happen. So actually, the key to getting things done isn't to make a big, pretty to-do list in your bullet journal. It is a way better idea to put things on your calendar. Put things on your calendar and then you know they are coming up for you and then you know that you have time devoted every single week to doing them. So I would really suggest that you think again about your medium and long-term goals and think about where you can spend time in your daily routine and in your weekly routine working on the things you need to do in order to make that happen. So that's actually executing this stuff. It's actually, you know, figuring out what you need to do and doing it. Um, but if it's a longer term goal, like again, like if you're trying to start a business or lose weight or something, it'll also probably take a little bit of time to evaluate, like evaluate where you are, look at your progress, and then replot your charts. So I think that's the key that a lot of people miss. They think that you can just sit down, write it all out on a piece of paper, and then just execute step by step by step, and it's all going to go perfectly, and you're going to know exactly what you need to do. But that really isn't how most of it happens for us. Um, usually we learn as we are going and we figure out new things that we need to do as we are doing them. So for example, with the business example, if you're trying to start an online business and then you know you go so far as to, you register your domain, you get set up on WordPress, you do all of these things, and then you get stuck on something you probably didn't see what that obstacle was way back when you were making your list and you were planning what you needed to do. But because you got there, that doesn't mean that anything has gone wrong. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with your plan. And it certainly doesn't mean that you should give up the goose and just go home and not do this at all. What it means is that you just need to reevaluate and start planning again and then start executing in a slightly different way. So if you need to evaluate and execute slightly differently if you need to change up what you thought you needed to do originally that's no problem so i want you guys just to remember the reason why you're doing all this this isn't just to take up your time this isn't because you are bored this isn't because you know this is something that you think you just should do you are trying to create your dream life you are trying to make something better for yourself and you are doing these things for yourself and for your future self to live in a different world so when you remember that i think you'll become a lot less likely to give up when you run into a bump in the road you'll be a lot less likely to give up because you found something that confuses you or some you know obstacle that you didn't anticipate so you just need to keep executing and keep going and as i said if necessary reevaluate and make a new game plan as you go and there really isn't anything wrong with that that is actually the best way to get there that's actually the only way to get there because none of us are psychic and let's face it if we already knew how to do it we'd already be doing it we don't know how to do it that's why we're here so we need to remember that that is part of the process and that sometimes you're going to run into something along the way and then that is totally completely okay so what did you guys think which part of this video resonated the most i would love to know which part that you are going to integrate into your life if you're feeling really inspired to share what some of your goals are for the new year and the new decade you can go ahead and drop them in the comment box below we would all love to hear about them and get inspired by each other i'm sure Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I really appreciate you spending time in your busy week hanging out with here with me. I really hope you like this series on Slayer 2020. It's a little bit different than what I usually do, but I really think that we should all take advantage of this amazing new fresh energy for the next year and the next decade. So go ahead and apply these three tips starting right now to whatever's coming up in your life and let's see what happens for you in 2020 and beyond. So that's it for today's video. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and give it a like. And if you want to hear more from me, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button right here so that we can stay in touch in the future. And if you want to watch more, you can go ahead and watch my most recent upload right here. So thank you guys so much for joining me today and I'll be back here soon in the next one. So as always, just remember, get ready for the miracle. See you guys.